Hello, viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell, like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. Then write down the assignment and do accordingly. I can't I can't see anything with me. Open your mind and look closely. Precious, dear assignment. But it's difficult. I can't do it. What's difficult about it? It's going to affect my job and plan. Which plan are you talking about? My wedding plan, of course. Your wedding plan? Have you forgotten I didn't approve it? But I informed you. What was my response? You didn't say anything, so I, I thought your silence meant yes. I decided not to say anything. Because you've already made up your mind. You've decided that it's the one you're going to get married to. You've accepted his proposal before you came to tell me. So there is nothing I will tell you that would have made you to change your mind. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you approved it. <sighs> okay, what do I do now? Call off the wedding. Call of the wedding. Why? The assignment. Okay, if it's about the assignment, no problem. I will do the assignment. Of course, you will do the assignment, but the wedding must not take place. Oh, you said you've forgiven me. 
Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. What does it say? Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion has light with darkness? Exactly. So the person you are planning to get married to is not born again. He's not a Christian yet. But Brodan is born again. He's a Sunday school teacher in church. He's very fervent, he's on fire for God, and he prays a lot. Those are religious services and activities. And you can't equate religious activities with salvation. You can't fake it. And this is what we see today in churches. People have replaced salvation with religious activities and services. The truth of the matter is, Daniel is not saved. And it is dangerous and deadly to get married to an unbeliever. Step in, hey. <laughs> or do it. Just give it to me, right? <laughs> what else would you say? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Ah, all glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today. Thank you. Thank you for my wife. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this new home. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Oh, everlasting Father. Thank you. Oh glory be to God. Let's finish the prayer before we pray. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Precious. Honey. Precious. I'm back. To a question. Who sent you there? Did I marry you for that? Hey, oh, 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 oh. So now you gossip, right? No, I, I didn't go there to gossip. I went to Mr. Christ then. Listen to me. I don't want any neighbor to disrespect me. Eh? So let this be the very first and the last time this will repeat itself in this house. Have I made myself clear? Bible study to always minister Christ wherever we go. You even went further to say that, that Christ has told us to preach the gospel and he has called us into the ministry of reconciliation. That was what I read in the Sunday school booklet. What you read or what you know? No further question. Is my food ready? Is my food ready? This is 
not have me precious. You are dreaming, right? No, this cannot. Is this the one that? Where is the food? Yes, sir. Now come. We're not supposed to be talking about privacies in our home. So we're no longer two but one. That's your problem. Hmm? That's your home problem. Let me give you this last one. Don't ever answer my call or read my messages for any reason. Have I made myself clear? something in the kitchen. I should come and help you in the kitchen. I'm sorry, that won't work. Because we don't do that in our family. As a matter of fact, it is against our tradition. It is a taboo. I don't believe you are still talking about tradition. This is a Christian home. Our home is not based on tradition. Ah, all this tradition just break homes. Please, just forget about tradition and help me in the kitchen, please. That's your only thing. I have made my point and that is fine. It's a privilege to be used of God, please. You are going nowhere at that fact.
matter with you.
Anyway, um, you know I have a very important assignment to church today. So I will just assume that uh, you will meet in the church. Hmm? The door is locked and the key is not there. Do you have it? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Okay, can I have it? Ourselves. Something is definitely wrong. Something is wrong. You are also a serious monster. You are supposed to be in church. What will happen to your students? That is my not eh? I have other teachers in church. They will take my kids. And if pastor comes, I will just be Ha! But that would be a lie. You are not sick. It will not be okay to tell such lies. <laughs> It's not okay, please. I beg you, don't do this to me. Eh? Jesus Christ, no big deal in lying. Ah! Eh? No, you can't do this, not today. Not today. You promised me that you will not oppose this. You even prayed with me. You prayed that God will speak through me and that souls will be won into his kingdom. No, you cannot do this today. Yes, I have to. Ah. And that is fine. No, you cannot do this. You cannot do this, not today. Please, you prayed with me. Then God has to agree, even when you and I are together. No, no you can do it at all. No. You should minister to me first before you. No. What is all this? Follow me, God, No, this is not me. This is not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. You can't do this to me, oh. You can't do this to me, it's not possible. I have to go to God's work. <laughs> <laughs> Coin up a story to cover up. No. No, I will never tell a lie to the pastor. I will say the truth and nothing but the truth. I will tell him the truth. If you try that, consider yourself. Dead! No sense. And then I will know that you are nothing, nothing but a lion! A bloody man eater! That's who you are! Oh. Lion, let, let, let me tear you apart. You call me Lion, Abby. Let me tear you apart. Ah, yes. you ah. you you Come out of this room. Eh? Okay, you, you should just sleep in there. Just sleep in there. Imagine. I'm going to be a lion. Eh? You call me a Lion. So I have used my money to buy what you will use to insult me. Okay, no problem. I'll buy another thing. I'll buy. Dove or chicken? Oh. Ah. God, please, my son. Ah, God, 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 God. Oh! <laughs> 
What is going to be preaching? Who will preach in church? What's that kind of people prepare for this message? God help me. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ah, God, God, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this man? Precious, do you not find it very difficult to believe what you told me on phone? You know you're my best friend, and I won't tell you lies. Honestly, I'm facing hell in this marriage. Wow, unbelievable. But Dad, let's keep over here. Don't. I don't seem to understand what is going on. I haven't committed brother. He's from the school teacher. What went wrong? The only thing I know right now is I have missed it. Oh no. I have married the wrong person. No. No, please don't conclude too early. But I believe God can touch his heart. I know he can change for the better. There is nothing impossible with God. But I believe he will change for the better. Can we pray together? Our Heavenly Father, we come to you in agreement. We commit brother's heart to you, Lord. Lord, your word says that the heart of kings are in your hands. We pray, Father, that it will touch his heart. Amen. We pray, Lord, that you will make him committed to this marriage. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, that you will make him responsible. In the name of
where are you coming from? I ask you not to go. Please, please, we all have blood flowing in our bodies now. Eh? The younger brother called me and said they needed some money to deposit at the hospital before the doctor could attend to her. And I needed to do something to save her life. To save her life? What is going on? Is the sickness life threatening? Yes. Hey, I didn't know now. I must find time to check on her. Ah, hope you've been able to do something. My husband, thank God I went there. If I had not gone, that lady would have been so... Nonsense! Tan! Hmm? You have the go to slap me? Yes! Listen, I will do it again, again, and again. How could you? No. You left your own home. To go and rescue one good, good, good for nothing lady. Eh? Okay, now I get it. Hmm? That lady deserves to die even in that sickness. You know what? That's absolutely right. I will do this one again and again. And you will never forget it in your entire life. Now you have just proven to me that you are a bastard. You are a beast. You are a monster. You are so foolish. You You're call so me a bastard. Ah! Ah! Wait! Let me show you that! Let me show you that! I am really a beast! You are such a coward! Eh, eh. Only cowards be oh, your wife! You now have to go and talk back at me! Talk back at me! You, you have to go to talk back at me! I shouldn't be the one ordering now. Order for whatever you want. Uh, please don't, don't raise your voice. It's just the usual practice. You bring a lady to the eatery, you order her food. It's not. I should order for what you want to eat into your mouth. So you can't you order for me as your wife. You can't go and order food for me. Food for me. I will leave here. You think I'm joking? Why, thank you. We came here for something, so it's. Yeah. I'm looking for what you want now. Please, please do me this favor. For the last time, order for whatever you want. Or nothing else. Why are you treating me like this? It's like you are not serious. Okay,
I told you that this man is not born again. I told you to cut off the wedding. But you still went ahead to get married to him. Despite all my warnings and advice. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't know it's going to end up this way. I, I'm facing hell here. I can't even, just look at me. I'm a mess. I can't take care of myself. If I'd known, I wouldn't have married him. You have no choice. You have to bear the consequences of your disobedience. Ah. But, uh, can I file for a divorce? Divorce? No, you can't. Ah. Hey. Okay, so what do I do? Endure. My duty is to come around to comfort. Obedience is better than sacrifice. <laughs> Obedience is better than sacrifice. <laughs> ah! If I had known, I would have remained single. Mm. Okay, so I have to endure, right? <laughs> ah! Okay. Mm. I think at this point, I need to do something. And since God has decided not to help me, then I need to help myself. <laughs> I need to help myself. <laughs> You 
you're going to bring life. Oh, you want to kill me? It's a lie. It will not work. Ah, you are going to your love, Janumi. Ah, 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 Instead of a pass mark in my marriage. It has only produced injurious mark. But you had him clearly. He said there is a beast in him. That is the mark of the beast. And this buttresses my point that is not yet born again. Whosoever that is not born again has a beast in him or her. That means he is not meant for me. Well, it all depends on the user. A cutlass will cultivate or be heard. Exactly what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. It was too real. Too real, I was scared. Wow. Radan is not born again. I know the Holy Spirit cannot lie. I think you need to confront him. Ah. How am I supposed to do that? You know how much this guy loves me. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Feelings? You're talking about feelings. We're talking about your future here. Please, you need to put your, your feelings aside. Put feelings aside and let the will of God play out here. The will of God must be adhered to. Please. Yes, I know you're right, but how do I do it? Just open your mouth. I believe the Holy Spirit will inspire you what exactly to say. Try. Please do. It's important. You are not looking to go. What is that? You know I don't like seeing you in this guy. Something is bothering me. What is it? It's about the wedding. The wedding? Come on, pressure. I have told you times without number that anything you want for the wedding, you just ask me. Any amount you want. I will provide it. So don't let that bother you. Honestly, I don't know why you think everything is about money. This has nothing to do with money. Oh. I see. So, what is it? I I had a dream. Dream? Okay. Tell me about it. Can I, can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you, are you born again? Hmm. Am I born again? Precious has asked me a tough question. Wish I could not answer. Come to think of it, nobody has ever asked me such a question. Not even my pastor. 
What did she see in her dream? What prompted her to, to, to ask me such expensive question? Am I born again? In your own opinion, am I born again? I don't know. You know me better, don't you? Yes, I know you, but God knows you more than I do. Now, did God tell you that I am not born again? I know you will not tell lies to me. I want to know. So please, why the question? Okay. Yes, the Holy Spirit told me. And we all know that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. And so please, I need you to be sincere with me. I'm in a very critical situation right now. I need to make a decision that is between life and death. And I need you to be truthful with me. What if I don't have answer to this question? Then we call off the wedding. You can be serious. Ah. Brother, and if you love me, you will tell me the truth. Unless you don't love me. We need to get it right from the beginning. The foundation has to be good. We cannot base our marriage on, on deceit, all these lies and, 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 just, and just pretense. Righteousness and genuine salvation is supposed to be the foundation of our marriage. And if there is anything we don't deal with in courtship, it's coming back to haunt us in marriage. So please, I beg you in the name of God, I need you to tell me the truth. you crying I don't please stop stop this stop you have to stop crying I'm not asking you to please did I say anything wrong I'll be fine but Dan Proverbs 28 13 and 14 he who covers his sin shall not prosper but he who confesses and forsake them shall have mercy. Happy is the man who is always referent, but he who hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Ah. Hey. <laughs> hey. I think I've been too, oh God, I've got his feelings and this is what I've been trying to avoid. This is what I've been trying to avoid. What have I said? Ah, oh God, I have, I've hurt him. I, I was too harsh on him. I was too harsh. Oh God, what will I do? Father, please help me to. That's my... That's my mom's bag. Yes. Where is she? I met her at the She said she left something. So she went back to She said she has been calling me. Oh, my, maybe my phone is inside. Dan. See, somebody has been trying to call you too, but you're not picking your calls. That's why I had to send my mom to you to bring you back so that you can you can resolve this thing once and for all. What do you want? The truth. that I am not born again. But it is the work of the devil. I think it is my flesh. Yes, my flesh. My nature is my greatest enemy. 
oftentimes I tell lies. I go to clubs. I drink. I fornicate. Brother, no. <laughs> no, you are not. You are joking, right? This is not. You did not do all these things. Rodan, no. You, you can't possibly be telling me you're doing all these things. Anytime I travel to the village, I take advantage of ladies over there. I engage them in immoralities. With just talking a lot of money, I am aware that my mom visits a far priest for special prayers for me. Ah. Though I don't visit, but I sponsor any financial demand from it, including the annual traditional festival. Yes. Jesus Christ, village girls, Rodan, where is your conscience? You have killed me, you have, you finished me. Ha! Jesus Christ, what is your problem? What is wrong with you? Where is your conscience? Remember I told you I am 30 years old? It is not true. Ah. My real age is 36. Ah. I reduced it 10 years ago. For me to be eligible to go for NYC ah. and get job on time, I know that something is wrong with my salvation. How did I even say yes to you in the first place? How did I not know all these things? As an accountant in my company, occasionally, I liaise with some of my colleagues to sell companies' property and product. The new car I bought was through that means. It's precious. Can you now see that Holy Spirit is right when he said to you that I am not born again? Ah, yeah, yeah. How did I get to this point? Something is wrong with me. How did I, where did I meet this guy from? God. God. Oh. Hey. Ah. What the Holy Spirit said. Of course. You and I know that the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. We can't tell lies. God usually reveals things to us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searched all things. Ah! Dan's salvation is not cheap. He lives a double life. That guy has been pretending all along. Tan is a white sepulchre, beautiful on the outside but full of dead men's bone. Ah, I was, I was deceived by his services in church, his physical appearance and caring attitude. I didn't even bother to wait on God enough to get clarity. I strongly believe that God loves you so much and that's why he has opened your eyes to your errors. The word of God is clear. Romans 8 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the God according to His purpose. I perceive God is up to something. But as a matter of urgency, I want to pray for my dear salvation. I want to ask God. Lord of 
plead for mercy. Lord, on behalf of Rodan, we ask God that you will show mercy. God, please. Oh, I'm so God, I'm mercy. Oh, God. I need you, Jesus. Yes? Who are you? What do you want? How did you get in? Wipe your tears. Your sins have forgiven you. All you need to do now is to right your wrongs. You need to restitute your weights and begin to live a good life. Jeremiah chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8. take my time, you know, to intercede for you in the place of prayer. And, and I trust the Lord that He will have mercy on you. You know what? I locked myself into discussion with God. To tell you how dirty, rotten, shameful, and unbelievable Profitable servant I will have. I poured out my heart to him. I told him I have broken his heart. I told him that I have messed up and abused his grace. I begged him. To hide his face from all my sins and blot out all my iniquities. I begged him not to cast me away from his presence, that I have laid all my weaknesses at the foot of the cross. Cry for mercy. Restoration, a new heart to live our holy life. 
you know what? I received pardon. I obtained mercy. He came and he told me that my sins are forgiven. He said he has given me another chance to right my wrongs. from the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 1 to 8. You know, we are the clay and he is the water. It doesn't matter whatever sin we have committed and it looks as if our lives are crashing. If only we can come back to the water, he will mold us again and change our lives to whatever he wants. We cannot argue with him. You know he says in Isaiah 64 verse 8, that is our father, the potter, and we are the clay. If only we can come to him, God is the solution to our weaknesses. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for all this encouragement. I really appreciate it. Yeah, anyway, now that I know that you are sorted spiritually and physically, I can go to my house now and sleep. I had a discussion with him yesterday. I told him everything I have been doing separately in the company. I pleaded for his forgiveness and I told him that I promise I will pay back everything I have stolen. How for me to get to office this morning? I've done the right thing, okay? And I'm sure heaven is happy with you. This is part of the process of the portal. Hmm? He has started his work in you already. The process is usually not easy on us. But his grace is sufficient to keep us through. He would hit us, it would be hard on us. But by the time he is through, we're going to come out beautifully victorious. So, cheer up. The process is hitting you. And it is painful. I just need his voice to keep me cool. Don't worry. His grace is sufficient for you. So, what about the issue of age reduction? Three days ago, I corrected. And I must say, really, you don't look your real age. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't worry. I'll keep praying for you. I'll keep praying for you. It's been so simple. I hope to see Pastor on Sunday. Just to open up to you. Or what do you think? Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And I also think you need to call your mom. So that you will make her know your stand. She won't be calling you for sacrifices to idols. Alright. Okay, Johnson. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I 
I just had to quickly rush here. My brother came in last night, so I have to go back. Wow. Mm -hmm. Here we are. My you guys? I will. I'll your brother. Maybe you need to. Yes, you need to come out. You need to get out of the house. Thanks so much. Alright, see you later. Alright. your calls again because somebody who is superior to you is online. He who has called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. What do you mean? Who are you talking about? His name is Destiny Maker. The way, the truth, and the life. He rescued me from destruction and he gave me a new life to live for him. So, I am now a new person. I am sorry. I can't roll with you again. Let's go. Don't let this guy mess up our night for us. Let's go and enjoy ourselves in the club. Did you just call it enjoyment? My dear, it is far away from enjoyment. You know I've been there. So it is far away from enjoyment. It is a way to eternal damnation. Both of you are not married. Yet you've been going all the way. See, if you die in your sin, you will go straight to hell. That's okay! I think I've had enough of your insults. Stop it! I've had enough of your insults. Look at me. Oh, baby. It's my life. And I know what to do with it. You better give your life to Jesus Christ. I think Dan is right. We have actually offended and disappointed our maker. Come to think of it, I'm an usher. You are a chorister. Your parents are both ministers in the church and my mother and Dickiness. But look at the way we live our lives. On Sundays, people see us as true Christians. But you and I know what we do behind doors. Dan is now a genuine Christian. I'm ashamed of the way I live. Push me into all this. I never wanted this kind of lifestyle for myself until I met you. Now, what will I do with my life? Tell me. I have aborted twice just for you. Baby, 
Listen. Listen. Be sorry for all our faults. You can't be sorry. You please can't forgive me, me Debbie. Please. You can't. You can't be sorry. What am I supposed to do with my life right now? You fooled me. Debbie, we, we, listen. We, we need to put an end to all this my... godly relationship. Ask God for mercy and grace never to go back to her for me. And most importantly, we need to rededicate ourselves. Debbie, I, I'm truly sorry I am. I don't even know what to do with my life again. It's all because of you, God. God, have mercy on me. You can't tell me you're sorry. Sorry, you can't tell me you're sorry. Don't Debbie, 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 don't do this. affects your work the more. Please, sir. Please, can you help me? I, I, I have no father anymore. It's just my mom. And the pressure will be too much on her. I need to pay my brother's school fees. Our house rent is due. Please, don't let me lose my job. Please. Your job will be affected. What about the wedding plan? Would it still be possible? Can I still marry him? Just say something now. He did not respond. Instead, you're walking away. Because he did not respond either. He walked away. No? Promotion. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no. Wow. So you are looking at the new general manager of my organization. Oh my god! Brand new card. 
Jesus Christ! Wow, I am happy for you. Congratulations. Sincerely, this calls for celebration. Mm, I should be celebrated. Anyhow, <laughs> I am sincerely happy for you. Honestly, I'm so happy for you. And I believe this is coming. Amen. Wow. I am really, really, really happy for you. Can I ask you a question? Okay, never mind. No. No. You must ask that question, please. Um, okay. Will you still marry me? Oh, um, you asked for what I did that time. Let me quickly get it. Yes, come in. That is it, right? Even if we are not going to marry each other, shouldn't you just be open with me? What is it? I don't understand. I remember when I got promotion. You were the first person to know about it. If not for the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't have known that you have gotten a job. Why? Job? When and where? I've not secured any job. Oh, 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 oh. Now I get it. See, this was the same thing I have been battling and struggling with before you came. I just knew it. I knew the Holy Spirit does not like me. He may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. So, that was the message and the job God secured from specific call into evangelism. Dan is a chosen, chosen of the Lord. Lord. The, the Almighty, Almighty God has employed him to work for, for his kingdom here on earth. earth. Through him, many will be brought into the kingdom of God. God will use in mighty across the world. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the wise counsel. Well done. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Everything you have done for us. We appreciate you because you have called us out of darkness into your mother's light.
listen to me. This has to stop. Enough is enough. Why are you embarrassing me all over the place? What exactly do you want from me? Please cool down. I don't understand what I have done. Explain to me so I will know how to either apologize or do something about it. What have I done again? There is nothing to explain to you. This is another secret. When are you planning to tell me this? Oh, when? Yeah. Now, now listen to me. I don't ever want to see your face again. Don't call my lines. Don't even like my posts. Don't even regret whatever I post on Instagram. I don't want to see you around me. Oh, please calm down. Sister Precious. Hold on. Let, let, we can discuss this. Jesus Christ. What have I done again? Is anybody somewhere trying to blackmail me or what? Jesus, please now. Read my course now. What is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Finally! Ah, 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 ah. Precious. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Thank you. At last. <laughs> eh? Ah. I really love this. You know, acceptance gladness my heart. Ah. Who's going through your oh, mind? Jesus. Anyway. Lord, so anyway, Lord, it's not me. It's I'm excited to be here today. I'm good to see you too, sir. You're welcome, sir. Guess what? I have a surprise for you. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for it. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. All right, I will see you later. Uh, but, uh, Dan. Dan? What, what about him? I want you to help him. He has lost his job. Dan has a job already. He's been employed. Really? And he didn't tell me? Anyway, he got to know some minutes ago. Okay, that's good news. What kind of job? It will tell you. Okay. Thank you. See Thank you very much. Wow. wow. This is good news. <sighs> oh. Thank you. Mm. Well, thank you for everything. Mm. that God is mindful of us. We are just ordinary clay in the hand of the potter. God created us for a purpose. We are not here for experiments. We are here for an assignment. And until we discover it, our existence is meaningless. And you know what? The Holy Spirit has warned me to give it everything he has. You must give your total support to him. And you must not lay claim to your salary. The salary is for both of you. You were promoted because of him. And listen to this. You only have five years in that company. 
thereafter resign and join him in the ministry. Is that clear? All this while, I have been doing the devil's assignment. I never knew God as a special assignment for me. I have been so busy. I have wasted my time and resources on the devil's altar, thinking that I was special. I never knew that there is more to my existence. But, but thanks be to God, I found this. Glory be to God. The wedding. The Bible school. We glorify your glory. We are here.